Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, how's it going? How's it going today? Dale here. Uh, in this short little video, I have an Acer Aspire laptop. It's an A515-51-3509. I got to replace the full HD screen on this, the LED panel, uh, with a new one. So, first thing I'm going to do, of course, make sure your laptop's turned off. I'm going to remove the plastic bezel from around the screen. There aren't any screws holding this on, but you have to be very careful you don't break the plastic. It's very thin, doesn't have a lot of give. So I always start, I have a very thin tool, and yes it's metal, but I just got to get in there enough so I can just kind of lift it up, so I can kind of get my finger here underneath of it to, to gently, but firmly. You can see how I got it started here. So just kind of working along with your fingers slowly with a little bit of upward pressure on it while you Sliding your fingers along. Some come up easier than others. Along the bottom here is a little tricky sometimes. So just be patient. Alright, so now I'm going to flip it back around here. Again, I'm just using my finger in here slowly. Tilt it down a little bit. And just lift it back up here. Got to make sure it's broke loose back here, which it's not. Right along the hinge here, we have to get it broke loose right here. So I'm going to take my little tool. Sometimes it comes easy, sometimes it don't. There, like that. Don't pry up, just kind of push the bezel downward. Let me get it back around here. Just kind of, only kind of comes out one way. Kind of, kind of pull out and up. You can get it out all in one nice good piece. So all we have to do now, is I'm using a, number zero Phillips screwdriver with a really good solid tip on it there's four screws one here one here these four little black screws to release the screen from the lid just be careful of your antenna wires and stuff in here these are very short screws and don't take long to get them out I'm using a magnetic screwdriver of course Protector in here on my keyboard. I'm going to gently pull the screen down and we have to get this connector off here, the video cable. And they always put tape on it, so again, I'm using a very thin, sharp edge tool here. I got to get this tape started here and peel it up. To get our cable disconnected. And the cable just pulls straight back and it's out. So I'm going to get rid of the bad screen. Here's our brand new replacement here. It's full 1080p on this in this case. Remember you got your new screen here so you don't want to scratch it. Just carefully lay it down in, in place. And I'm going to plug this back in. These are kind of fragile so you got to be careful. Kind of line it up and tuck it in. Gotta put a little bit of firm pressure on it. So, 
If that isn't going to be sticky enough to kind of hold it in place, don't be afraid to put a new piece of tape on there, which I'm going to do right now. I'll be right back. I have some special tape I use for that. Just got to find the where I left off here. I usually fold it, but I guess I didn't this time. Very sticky tape, very thin. Just for added protection, I'm going to tape that again. Don't press too hard on it. Okay, now we're going to fold it back up in place. Got to make sure, I'll show you, that your cable here is not sticking out. Make sure it's taking the little notches there, which it is. <clears throat> now I'll put my screws back in it. It's a pretty simple repair, actually. Just got to be careful. Take your time. And don't, whatever you do, don't press on the screen. Don't put pressure on it. Don't squeeze it. You can easily break it. <clears throat> Before I put the bezel back on, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it on real quick just to make sure that it works. You can turn these on with the bezel off, it won't hurt anything. Just don't touch anything. So let's power it on real quick. There, we got a new screen. So let me let it boot up real quick. I'm going to shut it down. I put a solid state drive in this laptop some time ago, that's why it boots up so quick. So I'll shut it back down. All right, let's power it off. Got my screws back in. Nothing came loose or out of place. Now we got to get our bezel line back up in there. It shouldn't be too hard. Now, when you again, when you put this bezel back on, don't squeeze in here too hard. If you squeeze too hard on that new panel, you can break it. Been there, done that. <laughs> so I just kind of start snapping it gently but firmly in place to the outermost edge here, so you're not actually squeezing the screen itself. You can hear it kind of snapping itself back into place. Now along the bottom here, what I like to do is I take the back of my hand, I kind of hold it back here, about in the same position this is, and I just kind of use that for a little back support to push this bottom part back on, you can hear it snapping back in, just like that. So now let's close the lid, make sure these back corners are back in place, which they are. So there, got a brand new full HD LED panel on there and we're good to go. So check out some more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe, I appreciate watching, have a great day.